Good morning, people. This is Dr. Freddy of Freddy's Farm. So today, we're going to uh, formulate again another organic fertilizer. And this is part two of the series uh, of uh, Bokashi formulation. Okay, so for today, we're going to do aerobic EM Bokashi. Uh, the first part of the series, we did anaerobic EM Bokashi. So, uh, aerobic uh, EM Bokashi, mainly used for agriculture as organic fertilizer. Easily produced and it can be done uh, in a large scale. Okay? So these are the materials that we're going to use. Uh, main materials, of course, as more than 50% by volume, you can use rice bran, wheat bran, or cornmeal. All right? So whatever is available in your place, you use it. So other materials with high carbon content, you can also use, all right? So we can also use uh, materials with, well, that are very high in nitrogen content. My favorite is uh, duckweed, azola, and animal manure, okay? Except of course for dogs and cats. So means to say you can use uh, rabbit, ra rabbit manure, uh, chicken manure, uh, goat, cow, and pig manure. Okay, so those are the manures that are most common in our places. If you have a horse manure, it can also be used. All right, so other materials, we need uh, emas and molasses, about five, 1 to 5% of the water volume. And of course, clean water, about 40% of materials by weight. So if we are having 100 kg of materials, then we need about 40 liters of water. So we have to remember that the water needs to be unchlorinated water, okay? So no chlorine. So this is our favorite mix of aerobic bokashi. So 100 kilos of D3 or rice bran, okay? Uh, the one that is not very fine, okay? So D3 means grade three in terms of the quality, all right? And then 100 kilos of CRH, carbonized rice hull. If you don't know how to do carbonized rice hull, I'll put the link below in the description section. And then 50 kilos of dried rabbit or chicken manure. As I mentioned, you can use other manure. And then 200 ml of emas and 200 ml of molasses and 40 liter of water. Uh, I'll put also the link on how to do emas, all right? Good. So this is the, the process. Step one, dilute emas and molasses in the water. And then uh, step two, mix all the solid ingredients and diluted emas solution. All right. So you mix them thoroughly. And then afterwards, you, you water them with a mixture of emas, molasses, and water. And then check for 40 to 40% 40 moisture content. How are you going to do that? You squeeze, okay, the bukashi, and then uh, you'll know that it is 40 to 50 percent when there's no water running from your hands, okay. And then if you if you can see here, uh, the moment you release, uh, it forms like that, okay. It is steady and a little firm, but the moment you touch it with your finger, it crumples, okay. So that's uh, 40 to 50 percent moisture content. After step four, you cover the bokashi with gani bags, right? Uh, anyway, this is aerobic uh, fermentation, so it doesn't have to be uh, without air, all right? So ferment for one week in a covered area without rain and direct sunlight. So how do we manage during fermentation? If the temperature exceeds, exceeds 50% degree Celsius, then you have to turn over the mix, the mixture, right? So aerobic bokashi is ready for use when it has sweet sour smell and its temperature already stable, right? So uh, you check the the, the smell up in, uh, within one week, right? So storage of aerobic bokashi dry without direct sunlight and then pack them into using sacks or other containers. So it can be kept for six months under good storage conditions. So primarily, uh, aerobic bukashi is used for soil fertilizer, 
treatment of kitchen garbage and treatment of manures okay uh, when i say treatment of kitchen garbage uh, we're going to have another presentation on that so uh, you you anticipate for this uh, video okay and then treatment of manures of course uh, for the easier faster decomposition of manure at the same time elimination of uh, foul odor all right so that's it so if you have any questions uh drop me a message in the comment section or you can send me an email at uh, acosta organic farm at gmail.com so enjoy the rest of your day tom sifo yose cristo melele na melela amina god bless everyone